Hi there, Sagittarius. This is Kim. I'm here to do your next 48-hour reading. Let's get right into your reading, asking that your spirit guides and your angels join us so we get messages for your most high next 48-hour reading. Trying to get the sage lit. It's taking a little bit of time. That'll work. And the decks. And the camera. <laughs> okay. Asking that your spirit guides and your angels join us. Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you to people who have purchased readings for me too. I appreciate your help. And let's get right into this. Messages for Sagittarius. Okay, we're going to pull a Celtic cross for you. Nine of Pentacles. Yay, that's your underlying issue. That's financial gain, financial windfall, however you like to say it. It's feeling very um, warm and happy and satisfied energy because you know um, everything's okay. Uh, she can take care of herself. She can take care of a business. She's the entrepreneur energy. Nine of Pentacles. It's a big win. Uh, okay, so there might be some friends or people that, oh goodness, that we're just going to be like, bye. See you later. <laughs> There's either a situation where you aren't seeing something clearly or you were made to not see something clearly. This is the same position that Aries had this card. That's strange. That's a very specific thing. So might have involved in Aries. It's just like, okay, surrender the fight. <clears throat> or complete defeat. Like you you beat, you won, you won here. <laughs> it didn't come. Yeah, see, you certainly did win, but it didn't come at an easy price. Yeah, you don't think it was a, a win. <laughs> Feeling like you were so lied to. Yeah, you just don't want to see something move farther. So we have two for the outcome. <laughs> oh, goodness. Nine of Pentacles is saying that if you want to go towards your um, happiness, your financial stability here, um, the message is like that Page of Pentacle energy is trying to tell you if you invest this seed that we're giving you or you in invest in this, Get away from some kind of toxic energy right here. It's either people or toxic thoughts. It's it's um it's the area that you're around. It's the energy that you're around, and it's draining. It's not happy. <laughs> it's uh, on edge, tense. This energy, like. It will amplify like small things like a cough or cold or sore throat. It will amplify the discomfort of that. That energy will. So some friends or some kind of betrayal because you feel like you haven't gotten the whole truth from everyone. There could be slander or two going on. Some not so great things being said. It could be that. It could be hurtful gossip. Things like that. Leo had a very similar message of... Um, that's your Ten of Cups here too. Ten, ten. Ten of Cups is your future outcome. 
this is 10 too. Wow. So 1010 is about patience and divine timing. Let's go ahead and get clarity then on the things that your energy is like saying, this is not fair or this is not a good thing that happened. How can I view this as a good thing? It does. It, it, it plants the seed for something big here. I can tell you that much. Strength in reverse with the sun in reverse are both Leo cards. If they're in the reverse, it can be a Leo not present in a situation or needing the confidence and strength to be present in a situation where all is not known and there are some truths that are being covered up on purpose with the sun in reverse. There's things that are being covered on purpose. That veil might be about to be lifted because you, you end up going for... Um, your happiness, your independence, and, and then it leads you to entrepreneurship. It leads you to the Page of Pentacles plus the Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. It's what it leads you to, and it is not an easy thing. The challenge is completely being done with the situation, uh, getting a shovel, going outside, digging a hole, putting your situation uh, in that hole, and then covering it and maybe planting some new seeds for something to grow on top so that you never even knew that that was something buried because we're done with feeling conflicted on how to move forward we do know how to move forward that became crystal clear as uh, our own thinking here to us in the past but there's something that's not crystal clear with the ace of swords Someone might also not be telling you that something is a really good investment, and it might be. Look, it, it, I don't know. It just might be. Yeah, page of wands or child of wands here. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is like that muse. It's the magic wand. These are people talking with the page of pentacles and, and the page of wands. Good news coming your way, though. Even though there is a truth that was, you know, covered up. There's still good news coming in. So don't fret. This stuff's going to be over soon. It's a cycle. It's going to be over soon. You're feeling like you want to get out of this cycle, of course, because the Wheel of Fortune's in the reverse. Who wouldn't? Who would blame you for wanting to get out of this cycle? Yeah. And, and it does have to do here with, you, you know, you don't have to be, like, independent, like, broken up from somebody to... Uh, have that nine of pentacle energy here it can be about being able to be completely self-sufficient so that your relationship has a is based on a, a want not a need two of swords in the reverse you could have felt like something was decided for you like you had no choice in something like you don't yeah like it didn't work out because not because you didn't want it to work out but because something Somebody else did, perhaps. I don't even want to get into clarifying these because I know it's just going to get us down another rabbit hole that probably would be another um, reading in itself. But just know that it is something regarding maybe that you, were, you couldn't see something clear. Uh, maybe that's why... There was a decision made. Uh, maybe somebody overdid it when it comes to partying, too. That can be an issue with the cups and the reverse, like overdoing it. Maybe even overindulgence, and it led to a cloudy mind. That makes sense. Why is the chariot in reverse? Um, because this is what you think about, right? Okay, so if you think about not moving and how you're about going forward like if you're not thinking about going forward but you're feeling stuck and that's what you're thinking about then that's what's going to come about so they're saying i guess with this card to more focus more on tying up loose ends and a completion to a chapter so that you can live in an ascended chapter coming up in your life this could be cancer energy aquarius scorpio taurus or leo um it has to do with a completely new chapter that's going to bring in a lot more pentacles um, 
as well as I might add the Ten of Cups is like your main happiness. Having all those things in life that make you happy, that make give you comfort, um, that satisfy you. The nothing is missing card. <laughs> nothing is missing. I got it all. <laughs> okay. The sun in reverse. With the Hierophant. That is about commitments. It could be about something um, not completely seen. Or maybe it's about something in a contract. Make sure you're reading contracts really closely. There could be something that binds us that we aren't aware of. What is the strength in reverse? Trying to find confidence for sure if it's not about a person. Yeah, having the strength and the confidence to say, yeah, it's time to heal this situation. I'm looking at those four swords like it's people sitting it out and they each have issues with each other or something like that. Like they're all wanting to sit out and um, heal this, stick together. old traditions too um but ones that have a little bit of truth in them also so something that you can kind of lean on right now spiritually would pr probably be nice and beneficial to you may have taurus energy libra energy or like i say leo's twice that's what i've got for you sagittarius it's it's not a bad reading i mean it's like a gosh you all have had to go through it here um Libra, Libra energy. But I have no doubt that you're going to be just fine. <laughs> and um, you're not avoiding a decision anymore. As long as the decision is made clear to you. So there's something that may be not so clear in a contract. And that might need to be defined too. So there you go. Wow. You got zero, zero, zero. <laughs> Zero, zero is about um, angels trying to show you signs, um, you know, during your day, uh, through colors, through animals that you could see outside. There's many, many signs. It, one of the easiest or best ways I would think of, or I can think of, to get acquainted with signs from angels and things like that would be, look at, get a, grab a book of like a shamanic um introduction to shamanism and um, and you'll definitely be told about the signs and things like that um old traditions and old superstitions sometimes like especially in this shamanic shamanic realm um are asking you to pay attention and aware to your surroundings because there's messages hidden within that dimension there's uh something more than just the 3d world <clears throat> there's other meaning and dimension to your environment. I think that's what's being said. And you can get more guidance. It'll pick up the more you notice them. And that just makes sense, right? So zero, I feel like, is about this commitment here, which is an issue. It's not looking like it's bad, necessarily. It just looks like there's something that we just don't know. It says there's no beginning and no end. All is infinite. It is time to develop your spiritual side you're gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. I am limitless. And then there's the observant about being aware of your um, signs. Eleven, you have a keen awareness of what's happening around you, which is what they're asking you for. A strong intuition is your gift, and it will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to be a great guide and supporter. I am intuitive. 11. I'm intuitive. Uh, then I have 26. You have a desire to succeed and will feel most accomplished when your work benefits others. Your intuitive awareness of what people want allows you to come up with innovative solutions to meet their needs. 26. And that's what I've got for you. Join me on TikTok for your Oracle message for the day. And thanks for joining me, Sagittarius. It will be okay. You'll get through this. Um, this can be healed if you want it to be. Sending you love and light.